Hello YouTube and welcome to episode 15 of my Wolves career. Um, this episode is just going to be a little bit longer because we enter the January transfer window. So you'll see the deals that you know are on the table and who's going out, who's going in basically. Uh, first game is against Blackpool playing in our lovely beautiful white kit which I love. <laughs> um, I actually really love that kit like I might have to look into it in pop into the store or something and see if I can pick it up or something like that. But it's really nice. Anyway, um, yeah, getting into the um, game now. Um, I said it's against Blackpool, so um, I don't know if we've played yet this season, actually, to be fair. Um, but anyway, yeah, anybody catch the England game last night? Was it last night or the day before? I can't remember. Against Scotland? I think it's the best England game I've ever seen. Like, in in my lifetime, anyway, it's the best England game I've ever seen. Just because of the fact, I don't know, we just played with a lot more passion and stuff like that. It made it a lot more enjoyable. And um, I just thought, if we played like that every like time an international was on, I actually wouldn't mind the international break. Getting into the game plan now, and uh, the first half of this game was very, uh, I wouldn't say, um, I, don't know, I don't know what the word is, um, basically a lot, a lot didn't happen, it was quite boring, um, wasn't really entertaining, nothing really happened, not many clear cut chances, well I only showed that one real highlight, that was basically the closest I got, as you can see there I had loads of shots and stuff but it just didn't seem to want to go in, um, I, I am just making subs, this game was very frustrating because I was dominating them but I just wasn't... Um, wasn't penetrating, wasn't getting clear cut chances. You know, you, you, like I think if you, you if you play FIFA, you know, you get them chances where you you're guaranteed a goal. Basically, like you sort of know you're gonna get a goal. Then you, you like oh, it's hard to explain. But anyway, score a goal. It was a very weird goal. I think the goalkeeper messed up. It wasn't a goal, you know, that I really wanted to score. But it's a goal at the end of the day. Sagwell just smacking smacking it past the keeper. I don't know if the power maybe took it past him, but I think it's partly the goalkeeper's fault. I mean, he didn't take a deflection. And just sort of just, he just sort of missed it basically. So that's 1 0 to us, Sagwell. Anyway, ball's going to come in again. Little, 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 tried a little sweaty thing, but he still manages to put the ball into the back of the net. That makes it 2 0 to us. Um, I was really glad to win this game. I, was, I, I really didn't want it to be one of those ones where it just ended up being 0 0 because I think sometimes FIFA can do that to you. If they want you to draw a game, they'll make you draw a game or make you lose a game. But I think that's fair at the end of the day. You can't go the whole season unbeaten, to be fair. And like you see, they're 15 shots, 7 on target. They didn't have many shots at all, so. All in all, I really deserve to win that game. Um, if you watched the um, previous episode as well, you'll know that <clears throat> we offered a few of the other players contracts and um, renewals. Like, like you'll probably see there who's accepted and who had declined. I think um, is it just is his name Ismail? Ismail? Um, he's the only one that declined. It. The rest are a bit like there you go. I'm getting fanged. That left back, by the way, is, is quite good. Considering he's only rated 46, he's really, really, really good. Like, so I'm gonna have to use him a lot more in the future because I, I think I've only been using the one. Um, but anyway, we're getting to our next game here, which is against is it Brentford? Yep, yeah, Brentford. Um, quickly, yeah, like I said, at the end of this episode, the transfer window will be open, and you'll see the first transfer deals that we get. Um, I know we get a lot of deals for Edwards, and of course Sacco, and um, I think someone else. I can't really remember at the top of my head right now. But um, like I said, a few of the squad members will be leaving. Like I said I've got a few bit, a few bits of dead wood in the squad that just aren't really doing anything. Johnson, um, that just need to be, just need to go basically. So they'll be gone. Um, like I said, I'm just making a few changes to the squad here, changing it around a bit, bringing Ebanks in. You know, because um, when I watched the game on Sky Sports, I didn't realise he was a centre back, but he like he can play centre back as well. So that's that's good. Um, look at that. Ah, oh, the goalie really should have palmed it away further, but he, you know, it happens. It happens. Um, can't really do anything about it. Look at this beautiful football play. The passing's quick. It's a nice passing. Look at that. Play it through. Beautiful play. And then, boom, finesse Lapara. I swear. I like, Lapara is really good. Like, I remember um, someone commented on my videos. Um, I think it was, it was episode 2, 3, or 1. I can't really remember. But they told me to use Lapara more because, you know, he's, he's really good. And I've been using him. And, you know, he's, he, I actually um, want to thank that person for that comment because. You know, like I've been using him a lot, and he's actually thriving in that position. It's, it's awkward though because Henry's doing really well as well, so I don't really know what to do there. Um, look at this for a free kick, boom! Sack. Who else? Look at that, Sacco. Like, it's a shame that you know he wants to leave the club. Um, I think he's got Arsenal in mind, but we'll see what happens anyway when the transfer window opens. Beautiful free kick. I think I think he's actually scored either three or four free kicks for us so far this season. So we're gonna miss him when he leaves. Um, I can't really think of any other set piece. I mean, um. Any free kick takers in the team? Um, if you know any, please uh, you know tell me um, who else who else takes free kicks for the uh, for Wolverhampton. Um, like I said, the stat like it says it's um, this game was pretty say even. I mean they had four shots, we had six. 
Um, shots on target, not much difference, only one in there, but like I said, it was a very close game. And a beautiful over the top through ball, and go look at that, boom, straight past the keeper to make that 3 1 to us. We're playing at home as well, so that's amazing. Um, you know, get, we like make sure our home form is very, very good. Um, I don't know if we, I don't know if we've lost yet at home this season. I need, I may need to go back and watch all the videos just to make sure we haven't. Uh, making a few subs here, just you know, freshen the squad up a bit. Um, which I think you were brought on. Let's have a look. Uh, I think he wants to leave the club. Actually, that guy. Is, I think his name is it Bakora, something like that. I can't really pronounce the name. Lepara again. Lepara, look at that. Just about gets in. Just about gets in. But you know, it's a goal at the end of the day. Lepara, two goals this game. Probably the man of the match of the game as well. Like I said, he's, um, if you go to his squad report, he actually says he has that something special. So, you know, he's a great player. He's young as well, so we're going to have to work with him. But look at that for a beautiful... That was a really nice goal. But shame, it was offside. If that, 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 that goal went in, I would have been like, you know, fair play. Because it was a beautiful goal. Um, over the top through ball. And it just, you know, smacked the pass the key. There you go, stats. They had more shots than me in the end. I didn't really thrive in the second half, but, you know, I still won. They the results from the other, get, um, other games from today. Getting into the game, we're getting into the transfer window now, and basically you'll see um, at the top left there, uh, I can't pronounce his name at all, I'm just going to call him that guy, wants to leave the club sadly. <laughs> so we've got him and Sako wanting to leave the club, which is complete BS, there you go. Wants to leave the club, I didn't really use him to be honest anyway, he's only 27, so he won't be missed one bit. Just going to show you guys the calendar as well, just so you know who we're coming up against soon. Um, I've also noticed when I look at the calendar, in the next month I think yeah next month basically we play Chelsea I think it's the Capital One Cup so we go against my team that I support with all so that'll be interesting um, I think that's a semi-final as well so we're going to have to try and beat them will that be at Wembley? no it won't be at Wembley but not really away and a home fixture won't it mm. but yeah that will, that will be our next Capital One Cup game against Chelsea so we're looking forward to that looking forward to that um, there you go, you can see the previous results as well, who we've played, etc. Top of the league as well still, so we're still going strong. Um, like I says, our next game is against who's it? Sheffield Wednesday, and the transfer window opens as well soon. So, training injury, which is bollocks, look at that, it's Dicko, how long is he out for? Got an offer for Sacco as well, oh god, like I says, it was going to happen, he wanted to leave the club anyway, so... Just showing you guys the emails quickly as well, seeing who we got. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do praise Wolves for the form that they've been in recently. And I'm gonna go to Sheffield, and then we'll look at the transfer window. We'll look at the offers that we've got. There you go. Here we go. Yeah, Edwards offered 600k, and he's worth 650. But I'm gonna reject it because he's been one of my best players this season. So nope. Another offer from Bir no Birmingham. That ain't happening at all. And who else we got? Bloody another 625. But the L. Edwards is not going anywhere. He's my best player. Morale. Look at Sacco. Unhappy. Three, three and a half mil realistically. But we're going to try and get more out of him. So we're going to go to six mil. See if we can get six mil out of Real Sociedad. Anybody else want to try and bid for him? Oh, more Lazio. Same offer realistically. Um, but we're going to try and um, just try and get as much as possible for him. Because he wants to leave the club anyway. So we'll try and get as much, pos as much um, money as possible. Anyway, we're going to go to our next game against Sheffield. But that will be in the next episode. Anyway, I want to... Thank you guys for watching this episode. If you did like it, please give it a like. And if you're new around here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See, they they counted with an offer of six, uh, five mil. So we're going to go five and a half, see how much we can get. Anyway, I want to thank you for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.